Without further ado, let us welcome Miss Nur Azalia Kamaru Zaman. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So, assalamualaikum and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I am on an, I'm, I'm on a mission of life and death. Seriously, I'm on a mission to finally, once and for all, treat cancer. Now, we have spent so much on cancer research. Decades, billions of dollars, scholars of labor and energy have been put into finding a treatment for cancer that actually works. While it is true that all these thumbless efforts have produced over hundreds of anti-cancer drugs, yet cancer is still prevalent and remains the number one killer in our country. Cancer, as you speak, is still killing our friends and families, robbing the lives of people and their future. So why is this still happening? It is simply because these current anti-cancer drugs just aren't good enough. They don't target cancer cells, they simply attack everything good and bad, and not to mention the severity of the side effects that we are all too familiar when we talk about chemotherapeutics. So ladies and gentlemen, in Malaysia, leukemia is the number one childhood cancer and one of the top 10 most common adult cancers. Hence, my research looks at the treatment of leukemia through the usage of beta-carboline. Now, beta-carboline is a type of compound that is naturally found in certain types of plant, food, marine animals, and even our biological fluids and tissues. So in the laboratory, what we did was, uh, these seven new beta-carboline compounds have been structurally modified to target cancer cells, particularly leukemia cells, and what we found is that these leukemia cells are being killed in an impressive manner. But then hold on, since cancer cells are being killed impressively, how about the normal cells? Are they being killed as well? My results have suggested that interestingly, these normal cells are actually surviving. So these ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe is a possible breakthrough in cancer research because now we have the possibility of a new drug, much better than what we have on the current market because this new drug has the potential to be strong and selective in targeting leukemia cells while still being safe for the consumption of a human body. No more cases of drugs not working good enough or not targeting well enough or all the side effects that we're all too familiar with. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here and I'm telling you I'm being realistic because I am not proposing a cure, but rather an effective treatment to ease the pain of these cancer patients. I admit more work must be done to support my argument, but my results so far have been very, very convincing and promising. So how could we let such a rare opportunity slip by? Literally millions of lives could be saved now because we have a glimmer of hope in the form of beta carboline to battle this devastating disease. Thank you. Sorry about uh, the floor. <laughs> right. Questions straight back from the judges. Very impressive. I like. Thank you. Uh, um, how do you educate, uh, for example, um, see, I spend a lot of time uh, in my 24 years as a journalist and also as a TV host in the studio where the studio lights, they were very, very harsh. So now I've developed um, some say melanoma, you know, which is, yeah, yeah. So how, how do, would you educate people out there to... Um, um, to make sure that they will be prepared for all this later on in their lives. For example, if, if, if a TV anchor like me, how would you tell them, you know, before you go to the studio, you have to make sure that you would have cream on your face mm -hmm. that will fight all these harsh studio lights. How should we change our lives, basically? Not, you're not just focusing on a melanoma, right? No, 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 no that's, okay. that's just <laughs> an cancer example. Cancer in general. In general, correct. All right, so how would I educate them? We, are all, we all know someone or have lost someone due to cancer. Isn't that good enough to know that cancer is something deep within us? It's, you can avoid, but at the same time, it can just come anytime. So just take a precaution. Take a precaution. We don't know where it comes from. Food, ultraviolet, um, bad habits, you know, all those things can play a factor in sl so, so slowly and silently killing you. So you don't wait till it's too late. Take precaution. Live a healthy life. Live longer, healthier, quality life. So that will be what I said. <laughs> Finally. Finally, because I've been waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm also, I've always been looking forward to be here in Penang because I studied in USM. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for one USM student to come here and show the true colors of USM. 
and you did it for me. Congratulations. Thank you. Because so I may can testify that I have very high expectations. Uh, thanks. Even in my daily job. So I think you've done it. But uh, if I can just suggest, and if I may, if you can pull out that little bit more of storytelling, maybe right. go to the Kolakada side of you, you know, go down to the rice bowl paddy field, yeah. select one or two names, describe them first, describe the suffering they're going through and the helplessness of their next of kin in watching them waste away, even during treatment. From a beautiful 17-year-old to now bald-headed, skinny, lethargic-looking young thing. If you start with that, I will be hooked from first to finish. I guess if you're chosen to move forward, that is the only side you need to build. Because charisma and content-wise, you've gotten me already at the word go. Thank, Thank you. you. So, um, how close is um, your, your research or your uh, treatment mm -hmm. to, a commercial uh, to becoming Ooh. a commercial project? <laughs> project. Sorry. Um, I'm, at a I'm at a very early preclinical stage. You know, for a drug to leave to the market, you have to undergo a lot of trials, clinical trials, 10 years max, and I just started for like two years. We see a good potential. That's all that I can say. Further testing must be done can't safely just give this drug and just simply hope that it'll work. But for now, what we can say that our preliminary data are good. So we have a green light to move forward. So that's it. Thank you for that. Thank you, Miss Nur Azalia. Very interesting topic about cancer.